The biggest names in sports are all on IsraelSportsRadio.com. You know, Ari, we've interviewed a lot of people over the years. And, uh, you know, as my last week, you know, we've interviewed a lot of lovely people. And we've interviewed a lot of talented people. But there's only one person that is lovely and talented. The two-time Israeli national skating, ice skating, figure skating, I'll get this right, champion, Tamar Katz. How are you, Tamar? Hi, this is your last week on the show. Uh, it is. I'm actually moving back to the states um, in July. Well, uh, so in July, what prompted that? Um, an unbelievable offer, a uh, career move for my wife, and uh, since I am being uh, a, such a supportive husband, uh, that's- yes. Uh, so we are moving to the Maryland area, and um, not too far away from Penn, you know. So, uh, where, where in Maryland? It will be in Silver Spring, you know, where all the Jews right. are. Um, <laughs> it's either Silver Spring or Baltimore, right? Um, Silver Spring, okay. I, um, when I was younger, we grew, I grew up in Rockville. Oh, really? So that's where so she'll I be? I know the area pretty well, yeah. Oh, nice. All my cousins are in Rockville. So, uh, yeah, so I know the area kind of well. I mean, uh, but, you know, it, nothing is quite like Israel, as you know. Um, That's good. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you were you just here recently? Um, yeah, I was in Israel about three weeks ago. Nice. Um, came home to Matula to visit my my parents. Um, and right now, um, I'm in New York City. Nice. That's um, right. See, we in, just knew that right? with New York, New York. We just, I guess, we just knew that. Yeah. So I've been here for two weeks. I'm interning at a um, residential real estate company called Alchemy. Um, basically, they're developers, and they um, buy land in New York City and Brooklyn, and they uh, sometimes it's um, bad assets or good assets, and they turn into condos, and they sell them. It's high-end apartments, basically. Um, so I've gotten to look at the developer side, architects, building, finance. The negotiating. It's been very interesting. Nice, very nice. And uh, how was uh, Penn? Ah, Penn. <laughs> <laughs> There's no place like Penn. I've grown to really love it and I consider it uh, my home. I'm very close to it. Um, and it's opened up a whole community of many interesting people from all over the world. It's just um, a very different world than what it was used to before. Um, and I truly, I truly love it. Um, but I would love to, and I'm very glad you invited me on your show today. And if you can give me the opportunity to speak about something that occurred to me when I was in Israel actually like three weeks ago. Sure. Sure. Go ahead, please. Um, I was, you know, I, I was in Canada Center, um, which, you know, hosts the only ice rink in Israel, the only Olympic ice rink. Um, and I was very saddened by the situation of Canada Center, you know, when um, when I moved there first in, like, early 2001, 2002, um, we had something to be so proud of. It was a beautiful facility with, you know, two pools, an Olympic ice skating rink, um, and an actual training center. We had a team, we had um, coaches. It was very international. Everybody was collaborating. And um, since then, it was... And then slowly deteriorated, and this year when I came, I was so saddened to see um, basically non-existent, uh, non-existent figure skating, hockey, sports, anything. And even the big, the only Olympic ice rink in Israel is closed completely. And there's only one very small rink, smaller than I think what we might have in Central Israel. Right. Um, and it was just you know as we thought about. Um, Yossi Goldberg, and, you know, he started this whole thing many years ago in the 90s. He started in Matula for the purpose of and to bring an incentive to pe- for people to come up to the north, which is a beautiful area, which actually, you know, we won't be losing to at least part of the Golden Heights. Um, and it, you know, brought profit to the area. It was economically very smart thing to do. And he invested not only his money and his effort and time, but um, he had he brought athletes and people like Goichi and Sergei Sasnovsky who dedicated their lives to to the sport. Um, 
and now it's nearly extinct. And this, the, the way the place looks, there's not even a reminder or a glimmer of what it once was. And I also invested, you know, uh, five years of my life feeding, representing my country and in the hopes that someday it will grow into something uh, and very saddened to see it has taken to the drastic step backwards in the year that I have been away. Um, and I was very saddened. It's something I wanted to share on this video. Yeah, you know, and it, I've heard rumors. I haven't been up to Matula probably in a year now. Since we saw um, that since tournament. Since the hockey, last hockey tournament uh, and a year ago. Um, and, it, you know, it, it is unbelievable because, it, it, like you said, I mean, for people who have, ha, didn't see it when it was in its quote-unquote glory, I mean, what a facility. You, you couldn't even believe that you were, A, in Israel and, A, a in Matula. I mean, you really, you know, and, I mean, all of a sudden, there, you know, there's a, a temporary ice rink being you know put in Jerusalem for a month or something and, you know, these little things and, um, but yeah, it's just, it is, it's so sad that because like you said, I mean, the need for a world-class facility is, is so, you know, there and it's just a shame to, to let something go once you have it. Yeah. You know, I actually brought, I mean, the, this time of year, there are a lot of Tiglis groups from, uh, campuses throughout the United States, like, uh, Birthright and right. actually I was involved in more. And um, the group that I was involved with at the time came to Matula and did Nafa Yun, and they came to Canada Center and skated, and they did, and I did a little show for them. And, you know, they wondered, they, you know, they know that I'm a Sergeant champion, but there are no pictures of me or of Galit and Sergey or um, Zareski or anybody throughout the facility. Um, actually, there used to be, but they were taken down. Uh, I don't know the reason, but... That I think that's something that's the only, if the Canada Center claims to be the sole training center for uh, winter sports in Israel, then why doesn't it celebrate its athlete? Why doesn't it showcase them? Right. Uh, we have them. Why doesn't it at least put pictures up, tell the stories? It almost wants to conceal what we have already done, what we have already achieved. Um, and I feel like that 